Oh man. I don't know what the fuck is going on with this Instagram. Nothing's loading up. Uh, leg day. Leg day. What the fuck shit up? I'm about to tear it up now. I'm about to tear it up. I'm about to tear it up now. You know, it's, it's fucking haul, man. So you got the baby ketchup. Travel size, motherfucker. <laughs> Gotta make them ketchup gains, son! Where are we going? On that photo shoot. <laughs> you look really cool with those sunglasses on, by the way. Did you know that I am the worst road trip passenger ever? Uh, why is that? <laughs> because I fall asleep in a car like in the first 10 seconds. <laughs> well, that's why we're going to give you little missions. <laughs> you little, little duties. Right? Okay. As a co-pilot. Oh, okay. What's my first mission? Um, you pulled that camera. Okay. <laughs> Well, you'll know in the video if I start to fall asleep. <laughs> uh, you better not fall asleep or I'll be one of those. <laughs> 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 uh, wake your ass up. <laughs> I hit the brakes real hard. Uh, why didn't we take the highway? Well, apparently... All these crazy little back streets. It still does. No, look at it here. What the fuck is going on? But uh, it's not. Uh, I'm not going by a school. I don't like to drive by schools. Why is that? Because there's like nine million little kids running around, and you gotta stop, and you're stuck behind buses and soccer mom vans and shit. <clears throat> like it's that'll add 20 minutes to you know a five block trip. Easily. Mm. Mm. That's why I don't get in grocery lines where there's kids in the line with the parents. So I don't have kids. Here we are at uh, some train facility in Paramount. Got my boy Rob Riches getting ready to shoot with. Should be a good time.
but uh, this isn't my studio. My studio is in uh, just outside of downtown. Very similar, but much more kind of a uh, New York esque brick and uh, tall ceilings. This is their uh, the main area. So we've got this area, and then there's a full photography area with, with flash. So like they have a cover shot. So the space is yours. Do one like this. Uh, pull the right side down a tiny bit more. Even more so, maybe because I'm there, there. Great job. Right. Any more? That's, That's my thing. This, this, really. this looks really good. Thanks. Like, really. Oh, yeah. What was your favorite part of the photo shoot? Man, it definitely wasn't the squats. <laughs> I'll tell you that much right now. My legs are so sore and my back is so tight from yesterday. The funniest thing was watching you quite literally ramp up with two plates. <laughs> that is something that I've never witnessed before. Yeah, me either, actually. I haven't been like getting pumped up so I can do two plays. My body hurts so bad. It's like, it's like, it's all good though, you know, man, I got super fucking pumped. You had man. a couple of crazy days. Crazy days yesterday. All my workouts are crazy though. You know, it's just been, they've been very productive. You know, hitting new weights is like, dream come true every time it happens. You look good, babe. Thanks. Yeah, you too. Today we killed that photo shoot, man. That thing went great. We're getting ready for some sick ass content. But get ready. Get ready. Gotta make that you gotta make them content gain son. <laughs> <laughs> every motherfucking day. <laughs> I'm showing shit going on all the time. It's like all good stuff too. Yeah. It's like Awesome. It's the momentum, you know? It's so easy right now. And you stay on top of it, too. Yeah. yeah. You gotta take advantage of every opportunity. Every too. single one, don't turn it down. Yeah, when people say, hey, can you do a photo shoot tomorrow? You know, give it a good hard thought. Can I do it tomorrow? I was like, yeah, actually I can. I'm taking the day off because I squatted 600 pounds through this. Taking the day off from work. I take a day off from work. Which is actually the gym, which is, <laughs> which is my playground. Right. 
take the day off from the playground. Oh, hungry. Hungry. I am hungry too. And I just ate. And, that's a bummer, man. Yeah. I'm really looking to, forward to my post competition meal. I feel like I'm in bed. I feel like I gotta eat before we go all the way through this traffic. Okay. I might, might eat these too. These little cushy edibles. Mm -hmm. pretty, pretty good for getting that mind right. You know? uh, uh. And recovery. Yeah. Did you bring your food? Yeah. Do you want to pull over anything? Yeah, I gotta find a spot there. It's really nice outside. He was good at keeping us on track too, because you know we can kind of like start talking bullshit, ta talking bullshit, and going off on tangents. And he was good at kind of getting us, bringing us back, bringing us back. Yeah. Went good, went good, 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 good. good. We got some good food. An hour and five minutes. I gotta pull over. Okay. You gotta eat, don't make the motherfucking gain, son. Even if you're stuck in traffic, you gotta get your shit together. This is part of it, you know? A lot of you guys think that, like, oh, yeah, I'm just gonna work out, take a bunch of shit, and it's gonna be enough. It's not gonna fucking cut it, boys and girls, right? Sometimes you gotta eat fucking cold chicken when you're stuck in traffic. Even though you couldn't find a 7-Eleven, use the fucking microwave. It's gonna make do, it is what it is, man. You know? Just, did you get some on you? No. Is that the baby ketchup from this morning? It's a medium ketchup. <laughs> yeah, baby one, a big one, and medium. Where's, okay, so what, what's the baby one for? If that's the medium and it's in the six pack bag for travel, where's the baby one go? Sometimes it comes with me too. <laughs> Together? No. At the same time? No. That was the same question you asked me <laughs> I don't understand though, because if the medium's with you and the baby one, why both? Because the other one fit in the fridge better than this one. Uh. So I was like, well, it's not the big one. You know, it's a little bit heavy. You're the big one. Right. Right. Don't forget.
a video game audition and then a callback from an Adidas commercial. Is this your interview attire? I think I look pretty good. <laughs> I think you look great. I mean, you just need to see my power, right? <laughs> you know, feel the force. You know, I think we're getting all overdressed and shit. I'm give them the wrong idea. Exactly. <laughs> 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 How did it go? <laughs> Keep touching another man's radio like that. <laughs> We're jamming right now. <laughs> yeah, do it. Okay, let's let's try this again. Okay, are you ready for the time? Right. What are we doing? <laughs> How'd the auditions go? Oh, <laughs> went really good. <laughs> Did this video game audition. Apparently I'm supposed to be like some large creature. The casting director mentioned, mentioned you know, like a Chewbacca slash like prototype, like half machine, a lot going on. I mean, you're basically not really human anyway. I'm definitely, human being with feelings <laughs> by the way <laughs> and uh it was pretty cool it went good uh they were laughing and i like that you know so it'd be great to do a video game and then the other one was awesome because we i knew one of the guys I, one of the guys i knew had a mutual friend so that was good my buddy ezekiel jackson tagging for this video. We were talking about you the other day. Alright. Boy. Casting. And then, and then uh, that's really, his wrestling name though, right? Yeah. His real name's Rickland. Stevens, I think. Um, Not that that's relevant, but <laughs> continue. <laughs> I also trained that. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, and then another, one of the other guys, he's starting, he's getting ready to train with Justin Lovato at the Gold's Gym Venice, so we were in there, I was just fucking cutting promos and shit, I'm like, you wanna see, you wanna see a fucking promo? I'll cut a fucking promo right now, fucking, ah, uh, son, <laughs> you know, and, and it was like, uh, that was a good time, so, <laughs> that was a rough day's work, and so now I got these edibles here to really... If I had the super zoom get, with the heart. Get me ready to recover, you know? After the day of work I put in, right? So. Winning the show, winning $2,000 and points towards the Olympia qualification. Number four, Marvin Cornejo.